What is up YouTube, it's your boy Raj from Raj Reviews and today we'll be talking about the Nike Panda Dunk and to see if it's worth it in 2023 because overall I'm going to take a look at like the materials, the actual hype and like maybe like the marketing around it and just to see if it's really worth that like around 180 price point. Uh, after fees and whatnot, I spent around like 170 on it. So today we'll be taking a look at like the sizing, the fit and all sorts of things to see if it's actually worth that price point. All right, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, today we're going to look at the Nike Panda Dunk and this one is a classic for sure um ever since what 2021 2020 when dunks became all the rage uh this one was something that came out and just took the whole sneaker game by storm again in my opinion this shoe's been just overdone to the max right now and i think in 2023 we're gonna see if it's worth it or not so of course since now the nike uh i think since nike dropped the jordan 85 black and white um these ones might be shooting back up in value um but in my opinion though i just do not think these are worth the hype at the moment and also worth that resale price point so i picked these up for around 180 dollars after like StockX fees and whatnot i got my opinions about StockX, but that was just the easiest place to get these um again um so overall though this sneaker i'll be able to just taking a look at like maybe the um materials and just like the overall like just tech of this shoe i'm trying to keep it objective as possible just to give my opinions about what i think about it um so kind of starting off we're gonna look at the, the upper so this one right here features more of a pleather leather um or plastic leather if you will um synthetic that runs across the entire shoe across all panels um so as you can see i'll put up a little bit more um detailed like uh b-roll for it but as you can see there is porous like just like that porous synthetic leather that runs across the whole shoe um which in my opinion i do not really like because i have the um all white air force one which is kind of my beater shoe and it's kind of only not even lasted a year yet and it's creased so bad and i think that in terms of longevity for this um uh, i personally would not think that this one's going to age that well as something like a higher um quality brazil dunk has um i do have my brazil dunk which i'll compare it to it in a little bit later but i just don't think that this leather was going to hold up that well um maybe come two years time so um longevity wise i wouldn't recommend this particular um leather setup again because it's a very very cheap and i despite it being very cheap i also find it kind of shocking that they don't release these um as much as they have been i know that this is the 2021 styling of it um but in my opinion i just don't really understand how like the leather dying is like make taking nike so much time just to like make this leather white and black i'm pretty sure it comes white from like the producer and they just had to dye it black and just make the shoe so this is a very simple shoe to make and i'm just surprised why they're making it very very hard to get um again exclusivity wise this shoe looks really really good i mean like in terms of like fashion and aesthetics this is a very nice looking uh pair of shoes but when you kind of bring it back to like what it offers for comfort so moving our way down to like the midsole and the outsole um it's got very very good traction as you can see it used to be a basketball shoe so you have the pivot point and also you have the back tread right here for your heel um when you're skateboarding this is actually very very good um the rubber compound's quite solid i would highly recommend it just from the rubber uh setup alone um again after time though this does tend to like um start to like wear down pretty quickly um but this particular one though does feel a lot more rigid and more sticky um again this might be just different releases different times so i don't really know if this is exactly a 2021 batch or not um so again that's what i think again the traction is very very good so i would say like a 9.5 out of 10 um just in terms of like day-to-day -day use but as you can see when you kind of work your way down to the midsole and just the setup right here um since it is a dunk you're not gonna have any of the nike air that is also in the insole inside of the shoe and also in the midsole you're gonna have like a polyethylene more dense foam that you would normally that you wouldn't normally see only in the older um sneakers so there is a cutaway online which i'll put on there but as you can see it's a very dense um midsole um inside so when you have your heel you're gonna when you be walking it doesn't provide that much comfort or stability so in my opinion on that front it's not very very good so i would say it's like a front three out of ten just because again it's not very comfortable and your heel doesn't really have too much support here and along with it being a low top you don't have that much ankle support obviously so in my opinion just the overall like comfort wise these aren't very comfortable again if you're gonna get something like an sp dunk which is not a um not sb um that one usually has a thicker insole so i'll show you with my brazils they have a thicker insole inside that makes it more comfortable but in my opinion though in 2023 uh the panda dunk just does not make any sense in my opinion again i paid 180 for these again despite this though like overall fit and feel though these do these do run uh true to size and whatnot so um they did like work out like in terms of sizing and whatnot 
but I just think again, like 180 again for this uh, particular shoe, it just doesn't make any sense again. I think like there's so many other options out there that provide the exact same aesthetic. And I feel like this aesthetic is like really good. Again, like, cause it's black and white, it goes with everything. So I guess that's where the hype is. And again, you have like that Chicago, um, like color blocking again. So it makes it really, really easy to style outfits with it. So again, like, as you can see, we lace it all up. It looks hella good. Um, but again, I just don't think it's worth $180 worth of hype. It just, it's just been overdone in my opinion. But um, I do have my Brazil Dunk right here. So um, here's this one. So as you can see, like this one is an S, a Dunk SP. Um, this one's really, really good because again, you have like a way better um, leather up top. So in my opinion, it just like, the way that it's like aged, it's been like two years now. I think it's been three years since it's released. So I wasn't the first owner about with this shoe. Um, so I just sort of wore it um, like after. So the leather, despite it being like just worn like for three years, like the leather's only been like creased and like deformed this much. As you can see on the front toe box, it's like kind of just been like uh, used like that. So, but overall the leather is very soft and this is very comfortable despite being a, um, just a normal dunk. Again, like, like even with this one, they have, they share the same midsole and outsole but overall i think just the one thing that makes a difference of this insole is thicker and this is so easy to change even when you're getting the panda dunk you can get like a soles insole and really just make it more comfortable um but i will say though that this shoe is just like again um despite the brazil dunk being uh what it is this one just i don't think it's worth that 180 like even if you're paying resale i just don't think because these things used to sit on like shelves this used to be on sale and whatnot so I just don't think it's worth that um, that resell in 2023. There's so many different options. You got the 550, you got the Samba, you got even the Mexico 66s. Um, there's so many different black and white shoes that really can elevate an outfit and definitely provide a different aesthetic. These are a little more on like the medium chunk chunkiness, but like with those shoes, I feel like it's more skinnied and you can wear a lot more different outfits with it. So these are my thoughts about the Panda Dunk. I hope I wasn't being too harsh with it. Again, these ones are really good still. Like you can definitely style up with these. And I think 10 out of 10 on that front, if it's the aesthetics, these ones are definitely the outfit. Like, like, like I think this thing will just set an outfit and elevate it to the next. Um, so that's my opinions on it. So I'll throw an on feet uh, anyways at the very end of this video, but I hope y'all enjoyed it and um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, enjoy the on feet. Peace. Shine them, Taylor Gang or outline them. You dig? You dig? You dig?